coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Today, we've got a good Week 5 matchup in store here between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Detroit Lions. Two of the bigger disappointments in the first quarter of the season doing battle here as we get this one underway. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Lance going to put it up right away. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. To throw again on second down, Lance. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. A little trouble thus far in the opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Lance looking to throw it. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Throwing on first down is Lance. Throw right side caught by Goddard, the tight end. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. And Lance now to throw. Touchdown, Eagles! Quez Watkins, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned them, and I don't think it's the last time they called his number in this one. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. 
And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. just across the 25-yard line. Well, this defense for the Eagles, they had certainly had their struggles to start the season, but they put it all together in getting that first victory a week ago. This defense certainly has a lot to be proud of coming off of last week's game because when you only give up 14 points in a contest, you give your team a great... The best defense in the league is usually going to average giving up 18, 19 points a game. So to be under that, a terrific achievement. Oh, Following oh, the pickup hey. of four, here's second and six. He was tackled at the 27 yard line. A gain of a yard brings up third and five. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. This pass on target, Bayless Jones with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender. You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play in the football. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. That may be a sneak peek on this opening drive of what this young rookie can showcase, his legs. And normally, as you start a game, you're just thinking, can he get the snap? Can he hand off? Can he just execute? Instead, he doesn't waste any time on wrapping another dimension to his game, showing off those wheels and picking up some nice yardage. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Check match, check match. Here's a give up the middle. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. 
The Lions at one and three here in the early part of the year. And they come in losers of two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, it doesn't take any great analysis. No jokes, partner, okay? All right, on this one. But we just know that we're going to see this as the game moves forward. There's going to be two guys on him at just about every snap. It's kind of a dare to throw his way, but they have to keep throwing his way. The benefits could be great. You throw it to a great receiver, he could come down with it anyway. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. They'll drop to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Coverage was very good that time. A nice job to smother him as the ball arrived, and that ensured an incomplete pass. And it keeps six points off the board. And this one is right down Broadway. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. With the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Okay, ready? Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll go again with Sanders. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Up the middle they go with Sanders. 
And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. Throwing now is Lance. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it will still bring up a fourth down. Like it's been this negative way as he just got back to the line of scrimmage. But when you really analyze it, he took away a big play for the defense, made it an uneventful run because he avoided a sack and didn't lose yardage. Well, listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their backgrounds. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. That's what love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. First down, they'll go to the ground attack. Down to about the 45. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Eight yards to go on second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Hassan Reddick able to record his fifth sack of the season. This offensive line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said, it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Well, he bounced up after taking a sack and took a shot downfield. I think a lot of us thought maybe he'd run draw in that situation instead. Tried to get it all back in one play. Yeah, third and long, thought he needed the deep pass, couldn't connect it. Maybe he was hoping for a penalty downfield to give him the yardage they needed. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. A wide open, complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. But in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. And if you're wondering how fast he was going, next-gen stats clocked him at close to 21 miles an hour. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Lions 
Titans offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner, they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Looking to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. on third down just one for three thus far this is third and 11. now back to throw a oh, hit as he throws there incomplete not much going on this drive looks like they're going to have to punt it away cd and right now i know a lot of their fans are screaming for the oc to change things up get away from what he's been calling Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Oh, he takes it in, doesn't let it bounce. He takes it at the two. 154 left on the clock here in quarter number two. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. So they were good last time out with a touchdown drive. This go around, it's not going to be very easy starting from inside their own five. But they shouldn't be daunted by it. You work on this the entire offseason. You work on it in practice. It's called coming out session. Start the ball inside the five, start on the five, on the ten. They should be ready to go. On first and ten, here's Lance. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Lance to throw it. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there, ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Lance going to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Lance. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Lions are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that. 
but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. They'll come up now on second and a yard. They'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. He was looking that time for Jamison Williams, and it's third and short. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's airing it out for Williams. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by a Akello Witherspoon. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense bait a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big-time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And they'll begin inside their own 10, so field position certainly not in their favor here. And he'll throw this one away, but I don't think he was out of the pocket. No, here comes the flag. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. In trouble here and down he goes. Back at the eight yard line. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. They'll throw now on the final play. Looking downfield for Jones. And it's intercepted. Good job. Oh, that boy. So we come upon halftime with nine points separating these two teams. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Pulls it in at the 13, and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two score games start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, try and settle things down a little bit. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Hey, 
And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. I think this running game, or should I say lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He'll look to throw. He's got this complete to Williams. And he's going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. On second down, there's the option going left. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Here we go, Scott! Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. I don't think there's any other way to put it, but that was just simply deflating because you know they came out ready to go at halftime, right? Everyone motivating each other, wanting to get out there and get going. And that turnover absolutely saps your momentum. Now you're just shouting encouragement to your defense, hoping they can pick you up and give you another chance. into the end zone touchdown philadelphia miles sanders his second rushing touchdown on the year and the eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead always important to get the first score of the second half now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going and now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more right maybe they get the first score that doesn't happen it looks almost insurmountable but it's not let's see how hard they play the rest of the game and he will get into the end zone to bump the lead up to three scores The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. But it's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. A turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well. And that's really, unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they want to admit it to themselves. But we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football. No more turnovers. And see how that works. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Hassan Reddick able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. Now the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. This complete to Jones. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. They're going to try and throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. 
And they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Lance now on first down. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Lance. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Guyton, his first touchdown on the year. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 24. the score, Eagles 29, Lions 5. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Hassan Reddick able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll look to throw here. He's airing it out for Williams. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Akella Witherspoon. Boy, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the years. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. Go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. On first down, Lance. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And Lance's throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. Touchdown! Dallas Goddard, 33 yards. And the Eagles get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. 36, Lions 5. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. Offense ready to kick off their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40 yard line. 
And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Now a pass caught by Zay Jones. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Eight yards on the pickup there, and it moves the sticks. First down. First and ten at the 26-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. down he'll drop to throw it and that's out to the flat for Swift and he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. It's funny throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups don't they? Yeah they do and that's the reason why what we just saw shedding those tackles and that's what they're used to doing. It is and it starts at the beginning of the play a one-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them but they also have those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball they think they're going to win those too. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think and now here is another interception. Picked by the former Lion, Darius Slay. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. Pass the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one? Pays off with an INT and a return for six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Pulls it in at the... And a mistake on the lateral. It's a loose ball. And it's picked up by the Eagles. There's never a good place on the field to fumble the ball. No, let's just call it as it is. But definitely not in your own red zone. <laughs> in your own red zone, it's heightened, isn't it? Because you're almost automatically giving up a score and the momentum, and everything just changes for you. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Trey Lance scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Eagles are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Extra point splits the uprights. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And 
And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Akella Witherspoon. And the Eagles are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Another great play defensively. They've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles, but that interception means that this defense very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game. And that's certainly something to smile about, isn't it, partner, if you're on defense? Because your goal every game is to pitch a shutout, but you and I both know that's pretty unrealistic. But to hold a team below double figures in a game, in an NFL game, that's certainly something to take pride in. Hey, three. Hey. To throw once more on second and ten. Lance, he's going to look deep for Watkins. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, at this juncture, CD, you normally see teams pack in the passing game. They've got the huge lead. Not them, though. They're still taking their shots. I remember reading in past history, there was a college football coach in the Hall of Fame whose nickname was Close the Gates of Mercy. But he wasn't really big on that. He was big on going ahead and scoring. He's got kind of reincarnated right here. We're watching it in front of us. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Lance looks to throw again. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. They are certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. Throwing again on second and ten. Lance. That is intercepted at the goal line. Picked by Jeff Akuda. And the Lions are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20 yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Hassan Reddick, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Come back, team. Come back, team. Back to throw here. Out right, he finds Tolbert. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And they'll be facing a third and 12. He'll look to throw. Jones has it, and way up past the 35 before he's taken down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll drop to throw. And this one too low. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try and throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Back to throw again. Man open here is Jones. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Now a whistle and a timeout defensively. Trying to stop it, and they do with two seconds to go prior to the two-minute warning. They go play action here on first down. 
And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Into the hands of Williams across the formation. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 20-yard line. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. Now the try here for the point after. Oh, I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is, his first miss, no good. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. offense set to begin their next drive and a few kneel downs should just about do it now defensively they do have all three timeouts but very little reason to use them at this point that one looks like he'll throw here got him in it's brown and he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds it'll be a gain of five and that's going to bring up second down. Throwing now is Lance. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Lance looking to throw it. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Now for the point after. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. They'll get a couple yards back, but not more than that. They'll be left with 12 yards to go on third down. They're going to look to throw. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Here comes the Lions punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. 
Here's Smith to return it. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A terrific return there. 27 yards all told. And control of the football switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. zero and this is not the way to start a drive throwing on first down is Lance going deep here for Watkins and this will be caught and the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill. But remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes. And that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Now the extra point try forthcoming. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. the score, Eagles 64. Lions 11. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go at each other in practice, obviously your training camp, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw for both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for the Eagles, they move a step closer to 500 as their record improves to 2-3. and three. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for Detroit, they'll fall to 1-4 and four with a loss. And perhaps fortunately for them, they'll get an early bye next week and come back to action in Week 7. 